This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. KHOU.com reports one man was fatally shot and three others injured Sunday after a dispute took place during a poker game at a home in northeast Harris County. It happened at about 12.45 a.m. in the 11,800 block of Vernell, where a gathering was taking place. During a poker game, Manuel Morales, 41, was asked to leave because he was causing problems. Harris County deputies said Morales left and got a gun out of his SUV and then came back in and began randomly shooting. Angel Vasquez, 48, Jose Vasquez, 58, and Alberto Vasquez, 54, were injured. That's when the deputies said Angel Vasquez got his handgun and shot back at Morales. Morales jumped into his truck and drove to a Shell gas station to call for help. Three of the men were transported to Memorial Hermann Hospital in serious but stable condition. Angel Vesquez was taken to Ben Tobb Hospital, where he died from his injuries. Harris County Sheriff's investigators charged Morales with murder. The Associated Press reports more and more Texans are finding themselves teetering on the edge of poverty. There is little doubt Texas has survived the Great Recession better than other states, but a study by the Corporation for Enterprise Development has found that 27.7% of Texas households have no financial cushion in case of an emergency. If you exclude homes and automobiles from the calculation, a full 50% of Texans have no assets that they could use to survive if they suddenly lost their income. Texas ranks 41st in financial security. 4.4 million Texans live below the poverty line. WFAA.com reports from Dallas. The hacking group known as Anonymous has published the names, addresses, and police departments of more than 700 officers across the state, including dozens in North Texas, after stealing the data from the Texas Police Association's website. The hacking is apparently in response to a story WFAA broke last week about a wily policeman put on administrative leave while he's investigated for child pornography. Anonymous said administrative leave should be reserved for injured cops, not what hackers called a kitty porn collecting cop. Hackers stole officers' names and addresses, many of them officers' homes, along with the logons and passwords for the Texas Police Association. This is the second time the Texas Police Association's website has been hacked. The FBI was notified. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.